हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे माय प्रेजेंटेशन टाइटल इज क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम्स इन एग्रीकल्चर बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव कंप्लीटेड एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विद स्पेशलाइजेशन इन एग्नोमी फ्रॉम जेबी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर कंप्लीटेड इन नाइनटीन एंड प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग इन सीड इंडस्ट्री इन वन ऑफ द एम In this presentation, we will study the different cropping systems adopted in agriculture. So now we will proceed to the presentation. First, we will discuss about cropping systems. The term cropping system refers to the crops, crop sequences, and management techniques used on a particular agricultural field over a period of years. It includes all spatial and temporal aspects of managing an agriculture system. Historically, cropping systems have been designed. to maximize yield but modern agriculture is increasingly concerned with promoting environmental sustainability in cropping systems cropping systems an important component of a farming system represents a cropping pattern used on a farm and their interaction with farm resources other farm enterprises and available technology which determine their makeup it is defined as the order in which the crops are cultivated on a piece of land over a fixed period of or cropping system is the way in which different crops are grown in the cropping systems sometimes a number of crops are grown together or they are grown separately at short intervals in the same field what is cropping pattern it is the pattern of crops for a given piece of land or cropping patterns means the proportion of area under various crops at a point of time in a unit area it indicates the yearly sequence and special arrangements of crops and fallow on a given area cropping patterns refers to the yearly sequence and special arrangement of crops and fallow in a particular land area while cropping system refers to cropping patterns as well as its interaction with resources technology and environment now we will discuss about different cropping systems and combinations first one is monocropping or single cropping it refers to growing of same single crop every year on a piece of land or practice of growing only one crop in a piece of land year after year it may be due to specialization of farmers or favorable climatic conditions for the crop for example due to certain specific regions groundnut is grown year after year under unfit conditions of tamil nadu and fluke or tobacco in guntur region of andhra pradesh growing only rabi crops in dry lands or only jayad crops in diara lands rice in canal irrigated areas and under water logged conditions this is due to climatology and socio economic conditions or due to a specialization of a farmer in growing a particular crop monoculture this is the practice of repetitive growing of same crop irrespective of its intensity is example rice 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 in kerala west bengal and odisha states monoculture means the growing of the same crop on the same piece of land from year to year and this may apply both to annual crops such as yam cassava rice corn and perennial crops such as cocoa coffee coconuts and citrus soil cropping one crop variety grown alone in pure stand at normal density it is also called solid planting for example sorghum by the spacing of 45 into 15 cm and groundnut growing row ratio of 30 cm and plant to plant spacing at 10 cm polyculture polyculture means cultivation of more than two types of crops grown together on a piece of land in a crop season like growing subabul plus papaya plus pigeon pea plus dinanath grass and second example is mango plus pineapple plus turmeric and third example like banana plus marigold plus barsim means in this system we are growing multiple crops to get the maximum benefits by growing and minimizing the risks multiple cropping or polycropping it is the cropping system where two or more crops are grown annually in one calendar year on the same piece of land using high input without affecting basic fertility of the soil it is the intensification of cropping in time and space dimensions 
like more number of crops within a year and more number of crops on the same piece of land at given period. It includes intercropping, mixed cropping and sequence cropping like example rice, potato, green gram, rice, mustard, maize, rice, potato, sesamum, jute, rice, potato, etc. Cropping intensity is more than 200% when the farm as a whole is considered the multiple cropping index is determined by the number of crops and total area planted divided by the total arable area. When the value is 3 or more, it is said to be most promising farm. This is also called as intensive cropping. Now we will study about relay cropping or para cropping. Growing the succeeding crop when previous crop is at its maturity, the new crop plants which are sown a few days or weeks before the harvest of the standing mature crop to utilize the residual moisture without preparatory tillage. The standing crop and the later sown para crops become simultaneous forming a pair for a short period. It is a system of cropping where one crop stands over land to the crop in quick succession. This helps avoid competition between the main crop and the intercrop. Relay intercropping describes a cropping pattern in which the life cycle of one crop overlaps that of another crop. Overlapping cropping. In this system, the succeeding crop is sown in the standing crop before harvesting. Thus, in this system, one crop is sown before the harvesting of preceding crops. Here the lucerne and bursim are the examples which are broadcasted in a standing paddy crop just before they are ready for harvesting. Now we will discuss about intercropping. It refers to simultaneous production of two or more dissimilar crops in a definite row ratio pattern or row arrangement on the same piece of land at the same time. The base crop necessarily in distinct row arrangement and its recommended optimum plant population is suitably combined with the additional plant density of the associated crop. The objective is the intensification of cropping both in time and space dimensions and to raise productivity per unit area by increasing the pressure of plant population. It has better relation of growth resources than soil cropping. Generally legumes or non-legumes are grown in intercropping. The objectives of intercropping systems First one is insurance against main crop failure under aberrant weather conditions or pest epidemics. Second is increase in total productivity per unit land area. And third, judicious utilization of resources such as land, labor and inputs. Now we will discuss about different types of intercropping. First one is mixed intercropping which represents growing two or more crops simultaneously with no distinct row arrangement. Second is row intercropping which refers to growing two or more crops simultaneously where one or more crops are planted in rows. Third is strip intercropping. Growing two or more crops simultaneously in different stripes wide enough to permit independent cultivation but narrow enough for the crops to interact agronomically. And fourth is relay intercropping which refers to growing two or more crops simultaneously during part of the life cycle of each, a second crop is planted after the first crop has reached its reproductive stage but before it is ready for harvest. Intercropping may be divided into four groups. First group is parallel cropping. Under this cropping, two crops are selected which have different growth habits and have a zero competition between each other and both of them express their full yield potential. The examples growing green gram or black gram with maize and growing green gram or soybean with cotton. Second group is companion cropping. In companion cropping, the yield of one crop is not affected by other. In other words, the yield of both crops is equal to their pure crops. That the standard plant population of both crop is maintained. Example, mustard, wheat, potato grown with sugarcane. And second example, wheat, radish, cabbage, sugar beet crops grown with potato. And the third group is multi storied cropping or multi tire cropping. Growing plants of different height in the same field at the same time is termed as multi storied cropping. It is mostly practiced in orchards and plantation crops for maximum use of solar energy even under high planting density. The examples are eucalyptus grown with papaya plus barsim, 
and sometimes it is practiced under field crops also like sugarcane plus potato plus onion cropping and third example sugarcane grown with mustard and potato and fourth example coconut grown with pineapple or turmeric and ginger and fourth group is synergetic cropping in this type of cropping yield of both the crops are higher than their pure crops on unitary basis like sugarcane grown with potato now to study mixed cropping it refers to growing of two or more crops without any pattern by mixing the seeds of different crops it is done to fulfill the multiple needs of a family for cereals pulses and vegetable crops etc and then rattan cropping it refers to growing crops which can be regrown through the roots or stalks of the harvested crop or it refers the cultivation of crops regrowth after harvest like sugarcane crop sequence cropping it can be defined as growing of two or more crops in sequence one after another during the year on the same piece of land on the basis of number of crops grown they are called double cropping triple cropping etc now we will study about strip cropping growing soil conserving and soil depleting crops in alternate strips running perpendicular to the slope of the land or to the direction of prevailing winds for the purpose of reducing erosion so strip cropping is mainly focusing on controlling the erosion multi tier cropping this is one of the method of intercropping which is mostly prevalent in plantation crops like coconut and arecnut the practice different crops of varying heights rooting patterns and duration are called multi tier cropping the objective of this system of cropping is to utilize the vertical space more effectively in this system the tallest component have foliage tolerance of a strong light and high operative demand and the shorter components with foliage requiring shed or relatively high humidity like growing coconut plus black pepper plus cocoa and pineapple what is crop rotation it means growing a set of crops in a regular succession on a piece of land in a specific period of time with an object to get maximum profit with least investment without impairing soil fertility like example so growing sorghum gram and groundnut wheat this may also be defined as the repetitive cultivation of an ordered succession of crops or crops and fallow on the same land and one cycle may take one or more years to complete ele cropping ele cropping is planting rows of trees at wide spacing with a companion crop grown in the ele wedge between the rows they are generally of non trailing with shade tolerance capacity example growing pulses in between the rows of kejruna tree then following following means keeping the land vacant without raising any crop is called following these are of two types first one is barren fallow without plowing and undisturbed land and second is plowed fallow means prepare the land and living without any crop guard or barrier cropping this is a cropping system in which one crop help to protect another crop from trespassing or restrict the speed of wind and thus prevent crop damage main crop in the center surrounded by hardy or thorny crops the example like growing nesta around sugarcane and sorghum around cotton and safflower around gram cover cropping or mulching cropping system having a practice of covering the soil surface with organic residue or inorganic materials any crop planted to control the erosion when regular crops are off the field is usually referred to as cover crop so this was all about different cropping systems now my presentation ends here thank you very much for your kind attention see you again shortly here i have provided my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava hope this presentation will be helpful to all of you thank you very much request all of you to visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements Thanks